Hey runners, I want to show you how to strengthen your feet. It's going to help with lower body injuries, foot injuries, and controlling the entire running motion. A lot of runners are used to like crunching towels or using bands to push around. I want to show you a more runner specific way to do this. My name is Steve Gonser, physical therapist with RunSmart, and this is my favorite, one of my favorite foot exercises. There's many. Um, and if you like this exercise, you want to learn more, I did put a link in this post to try a full strength workout that I've designed to help you run injury free, run faster. So you can go ahead and check out that full strength workout down in the post. But this is the exercise I want to show you, right? Most runners are used to doing like band work at the foot and ankle. They're used to crunching the towels. But when we run in most foot and ankle issues or just working in the balance of the foot and ankle happens when your foot, your body's over your foot. We want to be able to control this motion in our running. So taking your foot off the ground and, and doing things with it with bands isn't the best way if you're a runner. Instead, I like to work on a pro pronation control exercise, which we're going to be balancing on one foot. And all you're going to do is you're going to work on rotating out and tapping your heel. And then you're going to come back and pull yourself up. So a couple great things are happening here. We're going to be taking this leg and we're going to be trying to give it force to go down and in because when we run and we land, we're going to be, we have to learn to control that motion. And it's teaching the foot, ankle, foot, ankle, knee, hip to all play together. So this rotation out will force the foot in the pronation. We're going to control it. We're going to work on the strength there. And then we're going to work on pulling ourselves back up. That flattening and unflattening of the foot happens every time we take a step. So doing just 10 reps on each side is really good. I use this exercise all the time in the strength workout that I put down below. So that mark workout, if you want to try the full thing, is completely for free. But, um, so sign up for that. But I want to show you also how a lot of runners do this incorrectly. Um, so what they'll do is they'll go, okay, I want to do this exercise. And they'll actually like step out onto their foot. So it'll look like this. When you step out there, you can see how I'm all unbalanced. I'm a little, like, kind of like a, a tripod uh, with two legs, apparently. Um, so we don't want to step out onto that foot. It's a, it's a balance and reach. You want to balance and reach. It should be like a nice little tap out to the side and pulling up. Now, the other way runners do this wrong is they'll let their knee track really far inside their foot and ankle. Puts a lot of stress at the knee. We want to make sure that we're keeping that out, and that's going to work on the control through the hip, through the back of the leg, the front of the leg, and the foot and ankle. So here's the exercise again, working on foot control. Give this a try. If you want the full workout, link's in the post. We're going to work on balancing, a little rotation out, and pull back up. 10 reps on each side. I'll show you from the side here, here, tap and up. It's a little bit harder without your shoes on, and you can certainly jump onto a pad, which makes it even harder if you want more foot and ankle strength. Uh, give this one a try. Warm up and cool down works great. Couple sets of 10, and if you want more, check out the full strength workout down below. All right, everyone, give this a try. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.